Assalamu alaikum 114 for 3 Nahir Rebels after winning the toss and electing to bat first a must win game for them but this is 14th hour in progress Nikhil Dar and Amir Miraj playing before this was a good partnership between Shadad and Amir Miraj almost 48 runs unlucky for him got LPW out but wasn't convinced 116 for 3 Amir playing on 21 from 25 and Nikhil there on 12 from 8 Amir Mehraj has to improve on his strike rate all good ball just one run of this got a turn rate of 8.59 projected score 172 after the last after the games in last the points table have gone upside down and these two games today are very important Over. Was trying to guide to the offside but could not connect to the bat properly. Good running between the wickets. One run taken. One run to end the over number 14. That's 14 hours gone. 1, 2, 0, 4, 3. Seven runs of the of this hour, good hour, good economical hour. Lot would depend on this pair of Nikhil Dar and Amir Miraj. They need to ensure that they stay on the. They need to ensure that they stay on the crease till the for the remaining six hours. Their team has to put up a good good total there. Aqua challengers have been very very consistent with their winning and with their batting display particularly led by Danish and Dr. Basir well, they have been in form and that would definitely be something in the mind of the captain of Nahil Rebels Danish would continue from the palace and to nickel that down the leg side beaten down the leg side again going for one oh the fielder is there only one run Rebels, Aqua challengers wouldn't mind ones and twos at this stage of the game. This is the crucial stage of the game that we have entered now. Last six hours, how much can Nahi Rebels score? That would determine a lot. That would really set the tone for the chase and for both the teams. Darish comes around the wicket. Amir Miraj comes, comes off the crease. Huge! That is downtown Dubai. Yeah. Did you hear the sound? Yeah. Right on the... That was much needed, particularly from Amir Miraj, who was struggling with his strike rate. Now 28 from 27. Runs finally happening. Danish again. Amir Miraj comes off the crease. Again down the leg side. This is a, but this is in the gap of four runs. That is class. That is being class shown by Amir Miraj here. He knows exactly where the fielders are and where the gaps are. last game also he was among the runs he gave a tough time to the opponent 
and he's showing his temperament. Comes off the crease, down the leg side. This will certainly go for four. Yes! Back to back runs. Not good balling. 14 runs of the last three balls. That has taken score to 131 for three. See how much of room is he giving towards the leg side. He comes off the crease. Yes! The fielder was inside the circle. Once you. Once the ball crosses the filter, there is no way that you can stop that. Tanish again. He comes off the crease. Up a shot. There's a filter there. There's a filter there. Over the head for one more downtown. Expensive over. Expensive over. 20 runs of the lost four balls. Amir Mehraj now moving on 42 from just 30. That was class. He come, he came out the crease. Bit of flighty delivery. And he really pounced on it. Yeah, that's Amir Mehraj on screen for you. Going for the drink. Much needed drinks there. It's a bit humid. The wind has stopped after... I was consistently saying that I haven't seen such weather in this part of the world, particularly in this period of time. You need a lot of fluid to sustain your energy on that 22-yard bridge. Particularly now scoring of 141 for 3. Twenty-one runs of the last over. Twenty came from fours and sixes. Two sixes and two fours. Zulfat will continue. He will come from the villa end. Straight to the man at cover, going for one. This is dangerous now. Complete the running. The fielder not happy with the baller's effort. He should have been behind the stumps. Zulfa to Amir Mehraj. Up a shot in the... Oh, good fielding. Good stop at the cover. Certainly was going for runs. Definitely stopped few runs for his team. Forty-five partnership between Nikhil Dar and Amir Mehraj. From twenty-four balls. Up a shot! Up a shot! This is downtown Dubai! For the maximum. That is from the bat of Nikhil. Score now 149 suddenly. Flight delivery outside the off. Nikhil makes no mistake. Comes off the crease. Two steps ahead and sends this across the rope. 16th or 15.3 gone. Zulfa to Nikhil. Who is number 23? Played guided towards the leg side. Long gap. They are going for one. Will they go for two? They have to hurry. No. Decided against that. Right. So good throw from the deep. Good contest between batting and the balling here. One fifty up, one fifty up for the Nahi Rebels in the sixteenth hour. Zulfa to Amir Mehraj, who looks in the nick, comes. Oh, that's a class shot in the gap to the leg side for four runs. He is making mockery of the balling here. And look at the timing and the placement. Amazing. That is pure T20 kicker from Amir Mehraj. 
if you're not if you're not watching his batting you are definitely missing something that is conclusive for amir well he really understands the importance of this game for his team it's a must win situation for them zulfad slightly gave his room to himself straight to the man at gully but see it is there only one run one run to end the over number 16 that means amir mehraj will continue the strike he's playing on now 48 or just 33 i think he heard me when i said he has to improve on his strike rate and he definitely did that without any hesitation how much can they score from here 424 balls can they take their team to 190 maybe 200 you never know they still have wickets in hand and plenty of them and you got inform nikhil dar and amir mehraj they are on the crease you can definitely think of 40 50 maybe 60 runs in those 24 balls you never know and the way they are playing right now this looks something berserk batting and these are pure shots not just going to the ball as as whenever it comes wow that is sunset here that's amazing amazing sight here yasir has been brought into the attack Yasir who had just his second over he has given nine runs in his previous over Yasir to Amir comes oh guided it towards the third man only one run the intention was clear but it was stay to the fielder there score for Am Amir moving now to 49 Nikhil on 24 Yasir has to ensure that he he gets his line and length correct. Get slight room towards the off or the leg, and Nikhil will definitely go for that. One fifty six for three. Yasir from the palace and comes. Oh, this will be called wide. Yes, certainly did. Another extra added to the total. One fifty seven. how much can the nahil rebels put up here that would lot would determine on the shoulders of an nikhil and amir they had to ensure that they stay on the crease so that they can give a good total good fighting total for the tier team oh he was trying to go that was a rash shot appeal and how and given unbelievable well unbelievable it's not happening it's not happening here batsman it certainly disgusted with this decision he thinks there was no nick well i also think so but umpire's call is the final call one more wicket down that is bad luck that is bad luck for the for the batting side he was trying to go play across the line but missed it completely but then there were umpires he said there was a nick so one more wicket down 157 for four the new batsman coming on the crease is basit if i'm not wrong basit known for his hitting ability can he perform today can he get some runs for his team today can he get them 20 30 runs we'll see that but he has a tendency of being bit pushy in the first few deliveries he has to see how the ball is coming and then try to go for the shot but right now i would say give the maximum batting to the amir mehraj who is playing so handsomely there repels number 157 yasir 
cross the umpire, bows to Basit. Yeah, he was trying to go for the shot. This is what I was saying. He is getting a bit rusty in the first few deliveries. What he needs to do is that give a single. He has to ensure that he. There are so many gaps in the leg side. What he has to do is to go for a single run and give the strike to Amir. Oh, he was trying to again go for the shot, but that was not there. This is this is why the team will get stuck. Not sure what he's trying to do when Amir is playing on 49 from 34, and you just have come on the crease and try to give and try to rotate the strike. And that is what the doctor has ordered for now. Basit who has faced two deliveries yet to open the account under pressure now Basit Yasir comes he's trying to go for it in the gap in the gap this is certainly going for the four will this go for four the chase is on four runs the ball wins the race he played it across the line but in the gap good adjustment in the end deep Extra cover fielder has to cover a lot of ground. If there was one way to stop the ball, that was by the diving effort. Since the tie wasn't there, so there was no success in holding the ball. What much needed boundary for now? Help the Bills team score now moving to 162 for four. Last two balls. Yes, it comes again trying to play across the line. Need to sure what that was going for one. Will they go for two? No, Amir Mehra is not interested. Bye is called. Not sure why he is playing the way he is playing. There is no need to do that. You come to the North Strikers and you watch how the ball is coming. You watch how Amir is playing and try to go for those, for those poor deliveries. If you try to hit every ball out of the park, that's not going to happen. Yasir, last ball of his second over. Over number 17, Yasir to Amir Meharaj, who's on 49 now. Oh, he was trying to guide it towards the offside. Wide call, too much down the offside. Score now moving to 163 for 4. How much can they score in the last 18 balls? That would determine a lot, that would predict a lot, and that would define the moment for the teams. If if Alqua challenges could contain them. Yasir again cross down pad in the gap. In the gap. This is certainly going for the four. Oh, what a way to bring the 50. What a way to bring the 50 for Amir. Between the gully and the point, no chance whatsoever for any fielder to stop the ball. This was right in the direction. Pure class and temperament being shown by calm and composed Amir. I think this is the discussion between these two. Score now 168 for 4. 17 hours gone. Last three, last three hours or 18 balls remaining. How much can Nahir Bell score from here? I think they should definitely cross 200 line. This is certainly a good batting track. Bat is coming sweetly and nicely on the on, the ball is coming nicely on the bat. So definitely 200. And with the kind of batting that Hakwa challengers have, definitely Nahir Bells would definitely look for more than 200. And that would certainly give them some psychological edge also. Can they do that? Can they accomplish it? Let's see. Last over gave around nine eleven runs. Twelve runs of the last over. Thirteen runs in fact. Zulfad, Zulfad to Basit. Interesting contest between Zulfad and Basit. Up a shot. 
in the leg side going for four run is happening for Nahi Rebels here yeah he's not balling as you would want it because all the filters are towards the offside and this ball pitching in between middle and the leg and Bas is really going for the shot too many gaps in the leg side only three fielders four fielders standing in fact only three you got long on you got deep mid wicket you got deep square leg 172 for four Zulfad has to maintain the consistent line of length here comes again oh that was so close Zulfad on screen wearing jersey number 15 Up a shot, offside, over the head of fielders, two players are chasing the ball, can they hold the ball? Oh no, suddenly across the rope, three fielders were chasing the ball, but none of them could stop it, four runs. Basit now on 12 from 6, the kind of player Basit is, he just has to look at the ball for, fifth, so for some time and then he can really go berserk. Nahe Rebels 176 for 4. The momentum right now is with the Rebels. Fourth ball of this 18th over. Zulfat comes. Passes was trying to play across. Uh, missed it. Missed it to in the offside. Dodd ball. Good comeback by Zulfat. Eight runs of the four balls. Can they go for another four or six? Up a shot! There's a fielder there. He will do nothing but just watch the ball sail over his head for downtown Dubai. That is good batting by Basit. Wow, that was in the zone. Bit of same middle end leg. And Pass is really making no mistake about it. Though there was a filter there placed for it, he could do nothing but just watch the ball. Score now 182 for 4 and we are still in the 18th hour. Last ball of 18th hour. Zulfat comes. Pass is the upper shot. This could be out. This could be chance. Yes! Edge in the gully. Basir makes no mistakes. Takes a comfortable catch and that's end of Pass it. But that's a good cameo from the boss. 18 runs from just 8 balls. 18 hours gone. 182 for 4. 2 hours remaining. Can Rebels go to that magic figure of 210? But I must certainly say that was a good batting by Bassett. Gave some cameo to, to the team. Yes, you can see a few claps being cheered for that effort. 18 from 8. Didn't waste much money deliveries. I really bounced the strike rate here. Last 12 balls remaining. How much can the Rebels score? The new batsman is Kayum. He's also known for some big hitting. Can he do it today? Can he send few out of the park? Can he make few balls land on the top of Burj Khalifa? Can he do that? Let's watch. What an exciting game we have here while well, Nahi Rebels have to won this game if they have to stay in the contest of Desert T20 League. Two games, two important games being played today. Yes, it comes, continues. Up a shot. This could be one more. This could be one more. Oh, good catch by Yasir off his own balling. That is a big setback for Nahi Rebels. Amir Mehraj perishes. Oh, couldn't connect. Didn't time the ball well. Just came from the bottom of that bat. And Yasir holds the catch of his own balling. So back to back wickets for Nahi Rebels. 
But I think he has done his job. I think he has done it. He has done the job for the team. Fifty-three runs of thirty-six balls, five fours and two sixes. Strike rate of one forty-seven. Yes, it continues. The new batsman. Who's the new batsman? Down the leg sides. Filter is there. Only one run. Going for two. Oh, that's quick running between the wickets. Going for two. Sloppy fielding. Sloppy fielding from deep. I think that is Danish. Rather attacking the ball, he was waiting for ball to come to him, and Koyu was smart there. He was coming to the danger and he knew exactly what he was doing. 184 for 6. These small tidbits can really change the dimension of the game. Down the leg side, down the leg side. There's a filter there. One bounce, two bounce, three bounces. Going for one. Will they go for two? No. Good throw. Good throw from the deep. Majid is the new batsman. Said Majid. So two new batsmen on the crease, Kayum and Said Majid. How much can they score? Can they get 20-25 runs for the team that would set the tone for them? One eighty-five. What a match! What a contest we are having here. Yes, it comes down the leg side. Well, 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 well. The intention was good to play. Towards the leg side, but not the execution. Completely beaten by the pace and the bounce of Yasser. Last two balls of 19th over. Can the rebels go to that magic figure? Again, I would say 2 1 0 is the magic figure on this ground. Yasser. Ball from the palace and burn the fifth ball. Kayum comes off the crease. Going towards the short third man. Only one run, Zulfat is there. These ones and twos won't matter this time. It's the fours and the sixes that could create an impact and that could make the difference for the two teams. Last ball. Last ball of Yasser's. Good, good over being bowled by Yasser. Just four runs of five balls. That is, that is decent balling. And that, this would really certainly put some breaks on the score of Nahir rebels. Yasser, last ball. Oh, straight onto the pads. Appeal. Big appeal from Yasser. Umpire not interested. This was going down the leg side. One run. What an hour from the Yasser. Just five runs from 19th hour. And a wicket. Yeah, last hour. Last hour. Can they cross 200? That would mean they have to get 13 runs of the last over. That would mean a downtown and a four. How much can they score in this last over? 187. At one point of time, it was looking as if they would definitely cross 200, 210 more comfortably. But right now, there's a struggle. Particularly after the departure of Basit and Amir Miraj. Ahmed scoring 53 and Bas is scoring 18 from 8. So last hour will be balled by. Yunus Butt. Yunus Butt will be bowling the last hour. He has given 31 runs in his previous three hours. Majid is on strike. What will Majid do on this ball? The first ball of the last hour. Up a shot. Up a shot. But oh, straight to the mouth. Oh, he was trying to go for it. One bounce to him. It's a bit confusing whether to go for the catch or stop the ball. Only one run. Score now moving to 187. Koyum is on strike. So one run of the first ball. 
Oh, beaten, beaten. Oh, white called. Now he rebels now on 189 for six. Last four, five balls of this innings. How much can they score in these five balls? Ayum has to go for some big shots here. Or oh, stay to the man at Gali Basir is there only one run. Ones and twos won't bother Alqua challengers here. It's the fours and the sixes that Nahir Rebels is looking for. Silence in the dugout of Nahir Rebels after the fall of Amir. Said Majid. Yunus Butt. Straight shot going for one. Will they go for two? They should go for two. Yeah, the chase is on. Going for two runs. Yeah, two runs taken. 190 now. 190. 192 in fact. Last three balls remaining. Said Majid on six from five. Oh, again beaten outside of. Good balling. Good balling. Majid looking for that wide, but umpire is not interested. A dart ball, a crucial <coughs> at this stage of the game. Just two balls remaining. 192 for six. Full toss ball, straight hit. The chase is on. Long off and long on. Stop in the end. Going for one. Oh. Bit of misfield there, but still is only two runs. Fumble, misfield, but only two runs. One ninety-four for six now. Last ball of Nahir Bills innings. Certainly a good over. Only seven runs off it till now. Oh, beaten. Going for the run. And out. Run out. Called. So 194, 195 is the target for Alqua challengers to win this game. And 194 is for the Nahi rebels to defend the total. But I would still, still say a good total, a decent total. It's not that easy when you come to play in the second innings, particularly when you have to score almost 10 runs every hour. So we'll see how, uh, how Alqua challengers will pursue this chase but certainly the last two hours of this innings they belong to Alcoa challengers so the news from the ground is 195 is the total for Qua challengers to win this game but a certain a must win game for the Nahi rebels can they defend it or will Alcoa challengers prove it that they are still going to win this game we'll see you in the next 30 minutes till then Allah Nigeban
Assalamu alaikum, welcome back. Oh, 195 is the One ninety five is a target for Qua Challengers to win this game. Majid has been introduced into the attack. Last game he was good with the pace and the swing, but he was consistently struggling with the line and length. That's what exactly that has happened today in this game. Oh, down the leg side again. Two wide balls back to back. This was the same problem that he was facing in the last game, not maintaining his line and length, but he was among the wickets. He was swinging, he was generating pace, but that is the one department where he has to improve a lot and particularly in this crucial game where the stakes are high. Two for no loss, both from the wide and lucky that Basir did not connect it with the bat. So Majid, he will continue from the palace and what would this ball bring? Majid comes, oh no, not a good ball, a full toss ball, lucky that See, somehow could not read it how it was coming. So a dart ball to begin the over with. Can rebels defend the total of 194? Hekwa challengers, Basir in particular, among the runs in good form in this desert T20 tournament. First over, only one ball and two runs. Again down the leg side, not happening. Lucky this time stay to the man at deep mid wicket. Only one run. Three for no loss. Mikhil that going to Said Majid. I think Said Majid has to maintain that line and length. His pace is good. Swing is there. But he has to improve, he has to really work on that line and leg. Particularly, he doesn't have too much of time, only 4 hours, that's only 24 balls. That is Danish on strike now, Said Majid, first ball comes again down the leg side. Again wide, not happening for him. I think someone has to go to him and tell him to calm down his tempers, calm down, cool down boy. We got good total on the scoreboard to defend. You don't have to panic in the first over. Four for no loss and only two balls, three wides. Look where the Danish is standing. Said Majid. Oh, good ball. That is a swing that he was generating. I said he only has to maintain that middle and offside line length. Otherwise, he would be devastating today. He's created great space and great swing. Amazing balling, but he got to be accurate with that line length. So, two openers, Basir and Danish. Danish is among the centurions in this tournament. He is in the form. The two dashing openers for Kua challengers. Said Majid comes. Up is shot. Up is shot. Oh, this is over the head of Furkan. The chase is on. He won't be able to stop it. Four runs. Yeah, that was a bit risky. That was risky. This could have been a catch also, but lucky for Danish. He did not connect it as he would expect. The timing wasn't good, but good enough that it was over the head of the fielder there. Yeah, Furkan has been sent, sent back towards almost the extra, extra cover position. Said Maja to Danish something with the fielding what's going on well it wasn't the umpire that stopped the fielder it was Basi the runner who stopped the who stopped the bowler well, Bhai, what do you think who has the edge right now we have been watching this ma match very patiently and very keenly well I think the first six hours will decide Suja Bhai Majid to continue cross the umpire up a shot up a shot could this be the wicket Yes, that's the danger man. That is the danger man. Danish back in the dugout. I was saying 
The impact that Said Majid was creating in the last game was beauty. He only had to maintain the line leg. See, it was not in the zone. He was trying to play above the fielder there but could not connect. The timing wasn't good. So that is one wicket down for the Quad Challengers. 8 for 1. Well, he looks disappointed. Head down, going back to the dugout. Well, he knows he, this was not a good shot from him. And now he reveals rejoicing, getting the first breakthrough in the first hour. That too from Danish. Well, now he reveals would sense something here. But it is it's too early. Too early to say that. Who's the next batsman who has come on the crease? Our engineers are taking a lot of time. Tanish departing. batsman Danish Ahmed well say the margin among the wickets all the two Danishes here in the team so that's end of successful hour for for Nahiri Bills the wicket came out the first hour now this now we have entered into the very important phase of this game one wicket down for the Kula, Kua challengers can they get bogged down by the pressure can Basir take them out of this? Because we know how how big hitter he is and he can score the runs. And once he is among the runs, he can take this game away from you. Can he do that today? Can he be the performer today? The captain? Can he lead by example? One hour done, eight for one. Bobish, why? What do you think? Why did he not send Vikas score in the last two hours? What was the reason for that? I'm a bit baffled. We'll ask the captain later on, but right now I'm a bit baffled. Why Vikas Cole was not sent in those last two hours? He's still better than the batsmen who were sent. Oh, well, I think Abed Rajab has some different strategy. They were doing some good runs. So that is the reason maybe. But anyway, they cross almost 190. Imagine if the score would have been 210, yeah, 220. Times. That would have been certainly something different. Yeah, yeah who's the new baller there? Mudassir is the new baller. Comes first ball to Basir. Oh! Oh, completely beaten. That was just a sniff away from that bat. And Abid Rajab could not hold it. But good balling. This is a decent contest between bat and the ball happening here at Ajman Kitkar ground. The crucial phase that Desert T20 League has entered now. Two important games being played here in the ground. One no, here. Not even a batsman. I think Abid Rajab also got surprised by seeing the ball of Mudassir. Yeah, Mudassir is creating some pace. Mudassir cross umpire. Straight ball, straight onto the stumps. Back to back dot balls. Well, Basir is either he will score the runs or he will not do anything other than those fours and the sixes. Lot of responsibility on his shoulders now. He has to take his game, he has to give his team a decent total and a decent start in the gap. But good fielding in the cover that was Said Majid again. Looks like as, as it is his day now. Good fielding inside the circle. Yavika Skol going and giving a pat on his back. Yeah, now he repairs look charged up. The body language is different. Abhid Rajab pumping up the boys. Come on, boys, come on. Not sure if Faro Pisa the gave them the speech of the 70 minutes. Oh, a good dude. This was this could have been a caught and bold chance. Lucky for Basir. This just went over the head of the baller. Whoa, whoa, whoa. The timing is not happening there. 
Yeah, he's looking at the bat and this, look how close he was. His heart would have been in his mouth for a few seconds. He almost thought that he also got down. Wow. But good balling, good balling by Nahir Bills here. Very back good to back. Farooq, Farooq Pisa that looks like a Shah Rukh Khan. As he mentioned in the last, last match, he, he loves Shah Rukh Khan's speech. I think he's carrying the same, uh, same uh, mantra here for, uh, for, for the team. Mudassir Bashir comes to Danish again. Oh, that was so close oh, to that, Nick. Look at the pace and the swing. Amazing. Why would you not see this side of Nahir Bills before? Where were they hiding? Still the batsman could not understand this. I think batsman is getting a bit baffled by the swing that these bowlers are creating here. Not creating, generating here. That is the perfect word for it. Mutasir Bashir to Danish again. Cross down pad. Oh, this was not a good shot. You don't play across the line when you are getting such a swing. You don't do that. Not good cricket. Lucky. Missed. Nine runs and two hours. How much, how many runs did they score of the just one run of this hour? What a what an hour by Mudasir there. These dot balls would create so much of pressure, trust me. They will not realize it now, but after six hours they will definitely do that. What is the required run rate now? They still need 186 runs from 108 balls. 10.33 is the required run rate. 4.50 is the current one. But as long as Basir is there, he can take this game away. And he can really bring that required run rate down to any amount. Yeah, Majid will continue from the palace and field, field being set for him. Basir is on strike now. The only tip that his captain would be giving him to maintain that line and length and do not go to that leg side. All the fielders, we got gully, point, cover, mid on, mid off. The extra, the deep extra cover fielder has been asked to come inside the circle. That's Furkan there. The deep, we got the deep mid wicket fielder, Bashir. Bashir is there. Yes, this is the line still. It's wide, it doesn't matter as long as you maintain this offside line of length. And that's why you have to ball on. And that's why the fielders are placed for you. So you got to you got to give confidence to your captain. You have already given by taking that wicket of danger man Danish. You can do more. You are creating that. You are generating that swing and the pace. You can do better. Don't do too many experiments. Just go with the flow. The flow is with you. The momentum is with you right now. 10 for 1. This is third over. 195 is a target for the core challengers. Majid. Cross down pad. Post to bus. Oh, that was a good ball. Stay to the man at cover. Oh, no run. Not sure why that throw was done, but it was still done. No damage. A dot ball. One more dot ball. Basil struggling with the timing. Not getting the ball on the bat, either coming off the bottom or on the top. Wow, this is amazing. What a match. Now he rebuilds. They know they have to win this. There are no ifs and buts for them. There's only one objective for their team. That is to win the game, to, to remain afloat in this tournament. Majid, cross down pad. Oh, clean bold! I was saying, if he maintains his line and length, he's going to be the dangerous baller today. And Basir, no clue, and off stump has been uprooted. And the ball kept a bit low. I think a bit off a batting, bad touch. Inside edge, yes. And that is the danger, Basir, captain, departing. That is two wickets down. How much did he score? Not too many. Well, third over and two wickets. Back to back wickets for Said Majid here. Basir bowled by Said Majid. Just scored two runs of eight balls. Danish Lankar caught Basit. Bowled Said Majid. 
for only four runs from three balls. Wow, both the openers are back in the dugout and both the danger, dangerous openers for the Koa challengers. What are we going to see here today? Mubashir Bai is, is going through that point table and seeing all the equations and the scenarios that he's creating. Who will, who will get on where? But that would be interesting. Are you, are you with the maths? Have you done all the equations? Well, 10 for 2. 10 for 2. Someone has to stay on the crease. Someone has to score the runs. Someone has to make the partnership. Someone has to take the responsibility on the shoulders. Trust me, Quad Challengers are better team than you are seeing tonight. Today, I am feeling humidity. Today, it is humid here. Today, we are sweating. But someone is enjoying at home. Wow, 10 for 2. Third hour in progress. Said Majid creating, generating the swing and the much needed pace, but more of a swing. This is some amazing swing display that we are seeing today from both the ends. Haven't seen for a long, long time, trust me. Well, the, all the cameras have to be on the side margin wearing jersey number 26 really creating impact here the next batsman Sufyan Sufyan could be dangerous but can he deliver for the team can he settle down there down the leg side again white call going for one yes they have to take every run there lot of responsibilities on the shoulders of these two new batsmen Sufyan and Danish. Danish right handed batsman and Sufyan is left handed batsman. Can they live to the expectations of the team? Can they do just can they justify the name that they have in the T20 games in this part of the world? Can they do that? Said Majd. Cross umpire. This is down the leg side. This will go for four. As long as Said Maja will not maintain that line length, his balls are going to go for runs because there are no fielders in their leg side. And that is what Abid Rajab is saying. Go for that offside, go for that offside. But it happens. He has been bowling superbly. I'm allowing his swing. 16 for 2. And we need Koa Challengers to score some runs to get some excitement in the game. We don't want this one sided game to happen. And they will not. Allow that to happen also. You might think, you might wish, but that's not going to happen today. Yeah, the ball is getting wet and it would be a bit, a bit difficult for the baller to hold it, to grip it. As you want or expect that, that is Majid on the screen for you. He has put Nahir Rebels in the front foot, in the driving seat that they were wanting or wishing say the margin to Danish again yeah that is the oh in the gap there's a diving effort could not hold the ball the chase is on back to back force good use of feed by Danish once the ball gets into the gap between the two fielders there is no going there's no one going to stop that ball but there was a good effort in the field by who was a fielder our engineers look look puzzled and I think that was Vikas Cole scored now 20 third hour in progress Said Majid looks tired Majid in his second hour cross down pair now again down the leg side this will certainly go for four as long as he will keep on bowling on the leg side the ball will Oh, somehow he managed to stop it. That is good fielding by Shada. Mama Shada in the deep. Only two runs. We almost thought that this went for four. That is Shada on screen for you. He had to cover a lot of the ground. A long chase was there. Somehow he managed to stop it just at the nick of the rope. Twenty-two for two. 
but I think Sayyid Majid has given the star that now he rebels were dreaming for. It's more about the Danishes, Majid is boiling than the Danishes and the Sufyans batting. Last ball of the third. Oh, that was it. That was good line and length. Yeah, that's what Abid Rajib is telling him to maintain. But is it that easy? It's not that easy. The ball is wet. Easy said than done. Twenty-two for two, three hours gone. Mudassir Bhatt bowling his second over from the will and he'll be bowling to left-handed Sufyan. Straight the ball, straight on the stumps. Will they go for now? Amir Miraj. He was alert inside the circle to stop that run. Dot balls. With a sir, but creating that pace. So if you are struggling with the timing here, not connecting the ball. But that is good balling. That is good cricket from the Nahiri Bills. Straight the ball. Yeah, straight on the middle stump. His line and length has been accurate. Not giving any room whatsoever for the batsman to open the arms otherwise the kind of classy player that Sufyan is slight slightly either on the leg or on the off he's going to make runs of that field change Farouk Pizada is really getting charging his voice he's what a character he is a lively, lively, lively character for the team Always Mudassir. Straighter ball, straighter ball. Will this be stopped? Yes, good fielding by Shadad and Miran. Farouk is among always among the ideas, among the suggestions, always about the improve and improve and improve. That improvement plan is always there. Improve and innovate. For Pizada is still thinking something, Sujabai. Maybe thinking how to bundle the team on under 100 runs and get to the, on that run rate. Danish was trying to play across the line but Furkan is there in the leg side near the square leg umpire one run how much do you think they should score in the first power play but that is very crucial 
that will determine the phase of this game because remember they still have to score 195 is a target for them well, at the rate of 10 they should be at 60 right now you're almost 40 runs short Mudassir is showing here all his skills and the bowler has to adjust his line and length when you are bowling to right handed and the left handed batsman it's not that easy Sufyan on the strike now Sufyan has scored 11 runs up is short up is short could this be one more wicket the fielder is there the fielder is there in he holds the catch one more wicket down that is Nikhil Nur he made no mistake of it and he grabbed the catch of Sufyan Farouk who was struggling with the timing who was struggling with the timing one more wicket down for Aqua Challengers and now he rebels at the top of the game and the kind of swing that Mudasir Bhatt was generating this short, this shot was never on the cards and the way he was struggling well I shouldn't have tried for this but this is Sufyan going back to the dugout a bit disappointed with his effort my rebel looks altogether different team today in Suchabai I think is it the body, language, the body language, the temperament, the, temperament is the impression is. that they are giving. I think that's what happens when you are in the runs, when when multiple players perform for you, you definitely feel on the top of the world and you can see that when everyone and is contributing. And that they know way. that they cannot afford to lose from here. If you see yesterday's match, but there also looks very different from all other games. We have seen some of the teams start performing, performing now. when it is the crucial stage of the league. If like you see yesterday, Rebels, Badar, they Badar knew how, them. how important was them for to win the game, yeah, yeah. and they won it very comprehensively. Today, 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 the same for the Nahir Bells. They know they have to win this game, and look, they look a different unit today. They look pumped up. They look charged up. They look that they are in the I control think, of I the think game. The first four games, maybe they need some gelling to know each other. Yes. That is that is very important. Oh, he's still going on with uh, Majid. I think that is a, that is that's the a good, good attacking. Idea, yeah. that, I like that captaincy of Abid Rajab. He is the wicket-taking baller for him. Why would you drop him? Let him continue. If he gets you one more wicket, you are on the top of the world. Maybe you can take a long tour to Burj Khalifa and take your team there. Yeah, yeah. Maybe Farooq Pizada has booked a bus tour for them. The, the Abu Dhabi legend Farooq Pizada. Look at the way uh, Nikhil is supporting the bowler. This is how the bowler gets motivated. And Nikhil Dari is a sports legend for the team. So Danish will face Majid who is creating swing here. Majid comes. Yeah, straight ball in the gap, in the gap. There's a deep extra cover. Furkan is there, only one run. That's fine. Ones and twos. Now Ishwak Deen is on the strike. Ishwak Deen carries long experience and skills with him. How much do you think he'll be really reading the game very carefully? Ishwak Deen is very intelligent cricket. You know, he, he analyzes the game. He knows what to do. So uh, let's see how the how the situation goes from here. A lot depends upon the experienced Mr. Ishwak Deen. A lot. Team needs him right now. Ishwak Deen. Too early for him to face the opening bowler, Said Majid. Oh, oh, what was that? In swinging, York are almost on the toes. It reminds me Wakar Yunus. Trust me, Sujabai. We need to get this boy on the in the commentary box or in the presentation and speak to him. But well, that was something. Um, this I would call a creative mind of Said Majid. Said he Majid. knows. Ishwag Deen has just come on the crease and, and that to, is the yeah, delivery he want, that you he want, to, he want to keep him under pressure yeah and that is the delivery that you bowl to the newcomer you get 10 out of 10 for this effort 
So Majid on strike now. Said Majid comes down the leg side. This will certainly go for the runs. This will certainly go for the four. Yes, as long as you keep on bowling on the leg side, this will keep on going for the runs. But good bowling in the end. And good shot by Danish. He looks, uh, Majid looks a little bit tired, but it is humid he never, here. But he never gives up. Give, give up. I'm sure he's looking for another wicket and then maybe Abhidharja will rotate the baller after that. He is in his third over. Said Majid to Danish now. He comes off. He comes off over the head of the field. Now this will go for one more four. Back to back fours. Yeah, this Danish, was slightly not, in the leg Danish side. Is looking very See, aggressive uh, here. He don't want the bowler to put a pressure on him. He's giving back. As long as Majid will continue to bowl down the leg side phase, he will go for the runs. Because the all run. the fielders are set towards offside. You don't have that means you have to bowl on the offside. Even if you give wide, it doesn't matter. But you got to bowl your line and length for the field placement that you have set for yourself. But he is he is being today with the wickets. He got the both openers. Basir, the, two, the two dangerous Basir and Danish. Uh, this this is the this is the line and length that he has to maintain. Even if he goes for the runs. Oh, that was oh. straight on to the stumps. Will they go for a run? Yeah, a bit of overthrow, a bit of fumble. Ishfaq Deen will face the music of Sayyid Majid now. Ishfaq Deen is an experienced batsman. He knows the situation, what to do now. He has to stay there. This is what the team requires now, and then the other side Danish is last the ball of fifth over. Majid comes. Oh, how close was that? He was trying to go with that long, long ten shot, yeah, but couldn't. That's end of over number five. Five over is gone. Thirty-six for three. three. That is three hours for Said Majid. How much has Said Majid given runs in these three hours? He has definitely taken two wickets. Sujabai again Abid Rajib is going for an attack. Mudasir Bashir. What is going on the field, but this is Mudasir, but again in the attack now. So, consecutive third hour. I think that is intelligent captaincy that is a, by Abid That's Rajab. a brave captainship from yeah. Abid Rajab. No, 100%. Because five overs, 36 runs, he understands how important this first phase of the game is the first power play. Mudasir, but to Danish comes from the villa down the leg side. This will go for four. A loose ball to begin the over with, and Danish makes no mistake. Right now, Koa challengers need the, needs the partnership, and that has to come from these two batsmen, Danish and Ishfaq being there. Mudasir, but again, again down the leg side in the gap. The chase is on. The chase is on, and ball wins the race. So 
So two back to four that has created some jitters. Abid Rajab is not happy with the fielding, not sure why. The chase was on, this was in the gap. And that too in the leg side. Abid Rajab wants to make sure that he will not leave the runs from here. This is the last over of first power play. If you see the continuous fielding changes happening, so Jabai. So Mudassir Bhatt in his third hour proving bit expensive comes with the third ball he comes off the crease full toss oh. over the head of Shadad where is the ball going where is the ball going another four three consecutive fours of three balls well they need some partnership today and I think that is what Danish is doing Danish now playing on 31 from just 15 the comio that he's playing here will be remembered for a long long time But he has to be better than this. He has to definitely take his team for another 50 to 60 partnership between him and Ishwak Deen to give him to give his team some chance to come back in this game. So Jabba, interesting part is here. Abid Rajab is wearing the helmet. I think he wants to be very close to the wickets because Danish is attacking like anything. But these are the poor deliveries that must it is more of a poor deliveries than any. Because if you look at the line and length of the Sibbat that he is doing, it's more towards the leg side and he's giving too much of room to the batsman. But yes, this would definitely not allow Danish to come off the to crease. Come off the crease, yes. Yeah, that is a that is a good interesting one. Abid Rajab settling down his gloves very near to the wickets. Oh, that's really a great wicket keeping. Let's see how it goes. See, see again this was down the short ball down the leg side. Lucky for Mudas Sirbat that Danish somehow missed it. Score 48 for three last two balls of the first power play. Already 12 runs have come off this over. How much can they score in these two balls before the field spreads? And these two have to stay there on the crease for another at least six to seven hours to give some stability to their team. Yeah, straight ball, straight in the block hole. And Danish. Looking for a bad change. This is the very brave step, I must say, from Abid Rajab. What do you say about it? No, this is, this is a good one because he saw Danish coming out of the crease on consecutive three balls. So I think this was one of the things to make him to stay in the crease and to make room inside that yard, inside that popping crease, actually. And Danish knows his wicket is very important right now to be on the crease and make some runs yeah one As more he wicket doing. here that would be a daunting task for the core challenger so they have to make sure that these two batsmen stay on the crease for at least next five hours that's a minimum I can think of and they also have to make sure that their strike rate does run rate doesn't go down too much right now how much is it the scorer looks with the sweat Current is 8.23, required is still 10. This does not have to go down and the required doesn't have to go up. Mudassir Bhatt. Oh, again, he was trying to play across the line. This is the danger when you get the wicket keeper next to the wickets. And this went for bias 4. Now you understood why the why it yes. is so. And for the situation. For peas are now coming towards us, need some water. We are really honored to give him a little sip of water. So 16 runs of this hour, that is expensive. Three from the wood and four, three fours from the wood and one from the grass. Or buys. Who would be who would be the bowling change now? Who would be given the ball to come and bowl? I think Muhammad Shadar. Well, if you look at the score of Koa Challenger, it's not that bad. It's 52 still. It's 52 still. Uh, I mean, particularly after the fall of two danger. Two back to back wickets. Yes, I think they are only good. eight runs short of, of that magic 10 of figure. Mag 60. But then let's see how, how they will go from here now. So 
Mohammed Shadad has been asked to. Ani Shuja Bhai, I mean. Furkan. Ishwak Din. Ishwak Din. He must rotate the strike and give some strikes to Danish. Danish looks very in an edge. But I think if you look at Ishwak Din, he has only faced two balls. Two balls. So he's not holding the ball. He must rotate the strike and give some give some options to Danish so that you know he can. Hit the ball out of no, the. No, Ishfaq Din is also a player who can he score is, runs. He can score the runs, but you know, while maybe they will lose the wicket. Well, he can and be Shahid Afridi sometimes. He can be Shahid Afridi, yes, of course, why not? But we want him to be Babar Azam today. We want to be him uh, Babar Azam today. Let Dan shake that. Ishfaq Din on strike. Mohammad Shadal from the palace and first ball. Straight to ah, the man. See. Oh! Yes, wow. no, yours, mine, yours, mine. No communication between point and the Gully fielder, that is Basit and Nikhil. Intelligent kicker by Ishfaq Din, just rotated in the single. Yeah, that is good. That is good intelligent kicker. He needs to put Danish on to face maximum strikes because Danish is among the runs. He is creating impact. He is going for the runs, so he should be facing more deliveries. 53, 40, 142 is still. Safe catch and gone. That is what is happening. Whose wicket is that? Danish. That is Danish's wicket. That is unfortunate. He was trying to stop the ball, but caught and bowled by Shadad, and that is the ball in that Shadad comes and takes off from you. Farooq Pirzad accompanying Danish back to the dugout. Farooq yeah. Pirzad knows the worth of this wicket. Yeah, that's Danish not. Danish can take this wicket, take, can take this game away from them. This is not happening for the Quad Challengers today. One more wicket down. That is fourth wicket. 53 for 4 and we are only in the 7th over. Now the next batsman comes in. Rohit Bhatt. Rohit Bhatt. Rohit Bhatt is the next, next batsman. Who can be the star from the Kua Challengers today? What do you think? If you have to put your bets on a player from Kua Challengers, who would you bet, put I your bets on? I think all the bet has gone out of the ground, uh, Sujabai. Ishfaq Deen gives me a feeling of David Boone. What do you think? Yeah, His, he is, but... The, you know, the way he walks, walks, the way he holds the bat. The way Farooq he composes he's a, he's himself. The, another Rohit Watt as well. Well, it's a true sportsmanship from Farooq Pizada. What did he do? He looks, he looks very happy today and you now have some jokes. He always accompanies players to the dugout when, the when his team is winning. <laughs> Farooq Pizada. He's, he's a lively, he's a lively character. Guy. Full of phrases, full of poetry. We want him to come and And he always gives a 70 minute balls. speech to his team. Minutes, yes. He always tells them you have 70 minutes with Farooq, you. Farooq Pizada, Shah Rukh Khan. 53 for 4, not an ideal position for Kua challengers. They would not have thought of this. Maybe this came out of nowhere. Rohit Bhatt, the next batsman. Shadad, who had just got out because of Danger Man Danish, comes again. Oh, this could have been. Oh, that was just. You don't take chances on Vikas Kohl and run out. Not sure what they were trying to do. You know, Vikas Kohl is one of the best fielders that you have in this. Desert T20 and Ishwagdeen is done and dusted. I'm really surprised, Sujabai. There is no communication at all. The ball was approaching towards the towards the field very And that you a danger man, Vikas Kohl. Oh. He's known for his athleticism. Not sure what they were trying to do, but one more wicket down. Ishwagdeen doesn't look happy because it should have been his call as he was going towards the danger, danger end. end. Certainly, Nahil rebels all over the place in batting, in bowling, in fielding, and Mubashir Bhai is calculating the points table. Half of the team is already gone. Yeah. All core challenges are in real trouble now. I think that's where you get the energy from. Yes, of course. And that's where you get where you can take your frustration, frustration out. out. Wow. 
back to back wickets otherwise ishwak din was calculating the game very nicely rotating the strike but this is an unfortunate who's the new batsman i think it's yasir suhail qadri suhail qadri oh how close was that to that lpw that is shahdad well he's known for this for his magician spell no surprises here that is mohammad shahdad wearing jersey number 1 comes cross umpire in the gap in the gap oh. one run taken good running between the wickets but this was certainly in the gap the one run was there so just really showing his football skills there if you see a, when you have a player like vikas score in your side in the last game and to this game he did the the, cre the impact that he's creating by his fielding is superb oh, oh how can a peel and go on one more down one more wicket down caught by arbid rajab of the bowling of mohammad shahdad what is happening with the core challengers falling like the pack of cards here this is third wicket in this over six balls three balls are gone out of the park man not reading, not the, reading ball, the ball not ball. reading the ball completely and that was who that was rohit but that's rohit but well shot out his first over just two runs and three wickets two wickets of his bowling and one run out wow they are bundling core challengers here 54 for 6 and we are just in the 7th over well nahil rebels shattering the dream dream of lot of teams in this tournament nahil rebels is really making an impact a nice comeback wow basir but on 2 danish lankar out on 4 danish ahmed on 33 he is the just only player who is in balls. the in the double digits Sufyan Farooq out on one, Ishfaq Din out on two, Rohit Bhat now out on duck. The team looks in tatters now. Oh, Suja Bhai, here comes your favorite bowler, Farooq Din Sada. We need to check at what pace is he bowling. Yeah, that needs some. Uh, I need some. I need to call some NASA engineers to come over and check his. speed seven over is gone 54 for 6 wow nahil rebels looks look in the control of the game right from the toss they won the toss and elected to bat first and they're on this is their day for op zada stay to the man at extra cover basit now new batsman who's the new batsman on the crease sohel qadri is a new batsman and who's with him Noman and Shafi, Noman and Suhail Qadri. So Noman wearing jersey number ten on strike. He will be facing Farooq Pizada, who is in his first over, known for his slower deliveries down the leg side. Oh, oh. but it's not that easy to read. It's not easy to it's read. It's not because you get into double mind whether to come out or stay in the crease. And, and if you stay in the crease, then you have to make a room for yourself. And if you come out, that is the risk that you have to take. Farooq Pizada again. Straight to the man. Will this? Oh, bit of fumble. That was Amir Mehraj waiting for this ball at the point. They have cornered a quarter challengers team from all the sides. Straight. Oh, this was a drop Bro. catch. This would have been such a catch had this been caught by Majid. Majid. This would have been such a superb catch. I would have definitely awarded this catch of the match. But good so effort. Also, Jabai, we have catch of the match. Yasser Misgar on his own ball. Yeah, he comes off the crease, but just guides towards the mid on. Only one run. Farooq Pir Zada to Noman now. He comes out the crease, up a shot, up a shot. There is no filter there. The chase is on. This will go for four, four runs. Much needed boundary. 
Yeah, you have to take the risk of coming off the crease and make room for yourself. You have to take those risks when you are chasing 195. You can't wait for too long. You can't let it go for too much of time. Amir Maharaj, look at his batting style today, uh, Sujabai. Not only today, back-to-back -to -back games. Back-to-back -back games. He is such a wonderful and technical batsman. And the middle order. He's a strong, yes. He's holding a very strong middle order batting. And the confidence that he gives to his yes. team in those middle hours is amazing. He is like a wall, I must say that. He acts like a wall. So, Mohammed Shadar will continue and why should he not? First hour, just two runs and two wickets. Three wickets, but one run one out. Run yeah. Run out. 61 for 6. Mubashirbhai is calculating the average. Mohammed Shada, oh, down the leg side, this was not a good ball. Appeal for Al Tiro. I This is an exciting appeal for Abid Rajab. This was clearly down the leg side. What do you think, Sujabai? You know, uh, before four of these are the slows, I mean, the ball is not reaching to the ground, and then the other baller, Shadad, comes in. This confuses the batsman. This is a variety that you were having in uh, your team. team. That's why the batsmen have to adjust their pace. Oh, that was so close to that stump. They are straight to man. We cast call at point. This time they did not take any risk of going for the runner, rightly so. He is so fast. He is one of the best fielders of Desert T20 tournament. Never take a risk on, on, on his fielding. Bit of misfield at the point, at the cover. That allowed batsman to go for one run. Abid Rajab is setting such standards that he's not happy with this fielding effort. He is not surely. He, he wants Rajab this to be stopped and he wants field, he yeah. doesn't want to give easy singles and unnecessary singles here. Let the, the field, batsman fielding plays an important role in this Sujabai. Let the batsman run for it. Let the batsman struggle for it. Let him put the hard work to get it done. Straight catch and one more down, caught and bold. They are not reading Shadar's bowling. They are completely not reading him. One more wicket down. Just out of nine balls, he sent four players out. That is the player. So that that is a variety that you have. That is a valuable player that you have in your team. And that is a player that you, that can change the complex or complexion of the game. And he is doing that here. Amazing balling, amazing. Now Hill Rebels is a different team today. 62 for 7. The next batsman looks Zulfad by the body language. What do you think? It is Zulfad, yes. No prizes for the guesses, but still you can do that. For a piece of them making sure to give some comfort to for Zulfad. Maybe telling him to come out immediately. Wow, 62 for 7 here and we are only in the 7th hour? We are in the 8.4. 9th hour. 9th hour is progressing now. I think they should get all the fielders inside the circle. They should put us... I mean, yeah, like go for that attacking cricket. Attacking cricket, yes. Let the batsman take the risk. You got, you got room, you got plenty of runs in your bucket. Let the batsman take the risk. Let him go for the chance. Mohammad Shada to Zulfat. First ball. Oh, 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 oh. Abid Rajab is visualizing wicket on every ball. Abid Rajab looks very pumped today. Why should he not be 63 for 7? His squad challenges and he is almost winning the game. Sohail Kadri. Yeah, good stroke, but straight to the man at th extra third cover, extra cover, only one run. Good throw from D, one bounce to wicket keeper. Over number two of Shada comes to end. Just three runs of this over and one wicket. And one wicket. Five runs of two overs and three wickets. In fact, four with the run out. And two caught and bold catches. Cotton board catches. Now, Bhai is thinking who would he give catch of the match award to? I think Yasin Mizgar is still the best contender for that. Is it? 
you are not looking happy for that catch uh, sujabai for your semester i'm trying to visualize because this caught and board chance is not that easy to hold off your own ball in particularly when you have to go towards your left and right the same yeah, yeah yeah and he was going reverse well he still holds the edge he still holds the edge yeah so faro pirzada the magical bowler faro pirzada bowling his second over to sahel Faro Pizza again. Stay to the man. At point, at cover. No run. He's killing of the pace of the bowling. He's literally killing the pace. It's not that easy to bowl like that. Stay to the man. Oh, bit of fumble. This will go for four. The chase is on. Four runs. Once the fielder at the cover misses it. This is certainly going to go for four because there is no fielder in the back to stop that ball. Score now moving to sixty-eight for for seven. Faro Pizada. See, you get you get in double mind whether to go out or to come back. Shail in. was trying to hit the ball and then he changed. This is this is what mind. happens when you when you are not in the and you are not making your mind quickly. Oh, oh, appeal for LPW. Not sure what he is appealing for. Is this is going down the system of the leg side, putting pressure on the batsman. And look at the way he appeals. He, he appears on every ball. Every ball. Should you appeal on every ball? Not really. Yeah. But yeah, in this situation, yes. For appeal, Zada. Oh, is out. Yes. And given. Yes, one more wicket. For appeal, Zada takes the wicket. Caught by wicket keeper Abid Rajab. And that is the wicket of Sohail. He wasn't looking comfortable there. He was struggling with those with that spin of Faro Pizza and that brings 68 for eight, and he also perishes in the deep. That is eighth wicket down of Qua Challengers. The tug out of Qua Challengers is silent. No oofs and no whispers there. We are in the tenth over, and eight tickets are already in the dugout. No, he rebels really, leading from the front. not giving any chance any room whatsoever to any batsman to go for those runs but this would give time to coach challengers to think why did the things go wrong to come back with the yeah they will sit down they will go to the drawing board again they will look on all the mistakes that they made today but no partnerships no one was ready to take the responsibility no one was ready to stay on the crease why it called who's a new batsman yunus bhat yunus bhat is the same situation happens in the another ground also 82 for 6 that's end of over of faro pizza the 10 hours half 
of the overs have been pulled of the second innings. 10 overs, 69 for 8. Shadad will continue. Oh, they are getting all the fielders inside the circle. That is interesting. Where has been Farouk Pizada placed? I think he's looking for a catch. And Mama Shadad and comes. No. Will they go for a run? No. Vikas scored. Bit of a slip there for him. This looks like Australian fielding. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven players inside the circle. That's interesting. Shadat to Zulfat. Cross umpire. He, down the leg side, there's a run out chance. Oh, he survives. He survives. There was a run out chance. I don't think he understood that the fielder is near the batsman. <laughs> it's all happening here at Ajmar Kirkar Ground. It's all happening between Nahiri Bells and Aqua Challengers. Shadat is, is getting. He's not being able to read. Shalad again comes. Yeah, this time down the leg side, there's no field that the chase is on. Yeah, this was the stroke that they should have gone for because this was the only way to take pressure. Oh, they're going for the run. This would be a run out chance. Oh, fumble from the wicket keeper. Not able to hold the ball. He should have he should have been able to hold it. Big cough. A lot of excitement is happening, uh, Sujabai. When you are too many players, too many players around near the so you are lost stumps, you lose. Stumps, yes. There's no communication. Too many players calling the shots. One saying throw to the wicket keeper, other saying throw to the bowler. So that, that adds the confusion. The Let's see what that is. The this game. Ball, clean ball. This was not the shot in the book. Playing across the line. That was not happening. Shalad, one more wicket. This is his fourth wicket. He is really impacting 72 that, for 9, would you believe it? And we are in the 11th hour. They are not able to read. I don't know what he was, the batsman was trying to do, but he was trying to swing the ball, which wasn't there. So, Shabai, I will leave you with the last weekend. Thank now. you, thank you. Thank you, Mubashabai. Shabai. Thanks for your support. Wow. Nine wickets down for just 72 runs. The last batsman coming to play this game is Yasser. We are in the 11th hour. They are not able to read the balling of Shada, that is certain. Plus the blunders of trying to play him across the line. You need to be at the prime of your form and the best of your skills to execute that shot. So Yasser on the strike now. Well, you got the same fielders there. Yeah, he's looking at the leg side. Will he try to go for a few big shots because he has nothing to lose? Shadat, cross umpire, bowls. Oh, how did he? How did he? How did it miss the off stump? All the engineers in the commentary box are looking at the big screen. Which means their phone. Well, 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 well. Last ball of Shadal's hour. Down the leg side, but straight to the person. Farouk is a dot ball. What an hour! Just three runs of this hour. Oh, the still ball is on. Three runs and one wicket. Wow. Oh, the hour is done. Yes. Not sure who was confused the umpire or the ball earlier. 11 hour is gone. One more successful hour of Shadat comes to end.
Faro Pirzada to continue from the Villa and Yasir is on strike. Flighty delivery. Oh, how did that miss that off stump? 73 for 9. It's not about the winning now, it's about when will the Nahiri Bells take the last wicket? When will they conquer the fort? They have been best today. Amazing unit, amazing team in all the departments of the game, the batting, bowling and fielding. Yasser yes, looks like it. Yeah, he's defending the balls. He's trying to stay on the crease, not trying to go for any risk. Okay, this is the last pair. Stay to the man at long on, only one run. Because goal there he was running fast. It's prayer time here. Coming back to the game, 74 for 9. 12 hours is gone. The last pair on the crease. For how long can they sustain? For how long can they hold their nose? For how long can they control their shots? Will they get tempted? Or will they overpower the baller Shadat in his third hour? Shadal in his fourth over, last over of his spell. Oh no, I think that was bad and bad. Shadal three overs, just eight runs and four wickets. This is the best I have seen till now in this tournament. Economy of 2.53.
that is mind boggling <coughs> will he get the last man will he take the five wickets oh straight up appeal 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 he thinks it's on the toes he thinks it's on the toes over throw over throw run out chance again over throw vikas score cannot find three wickets there they thought it is out they thought it's on the toe but umpire not interested all the excitement here shada still talking to the umpire that you gave me out yeah umpire is explaining the why did the ball go it was on the bat and not on the toe anyway that's for umpire to decide mahmud shahzad continues a oh, clean ball and he becomes the first player of the tournament to grab five wickets wow 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 74 the team has been bundled out clean bold yeah you don't play across the line to a bowler like shahzad he is calm he is composed and that is a kind of a player that he is now he rebels winning the match by 120 runs if i'm not wrong 121 121 runs now he rebels won this game wow that is amazing this was a one sided affair clearly no without any ifs and and buts now that's all from here now he rebels winning this game comprehensively by 121 runs see you after some time in the post match presentation till then allah ne gaban